Today, we are going to answer the questions that you probably ask yourself quite often after watching a football match. What happens to the players' jerseys at the end of a match? Are the players required to wash their own jersey and reuse in the next match? Or will they be provided a new jersey to wear for each match? Well, we've got you covered. By the end of the video, you will have answers to all your questions. So, make sure to watch till the end. Jerseys have been used for decades in football matches. They provide an identity for the clubs and players, both on and off the pitch. In general, the way football kits are handled now and back then are slightly different. Until the late 90s, there used to be laundry room where the kits were cleaned, reconditioned, and sent out again. It was compulsory for players to return the kits at the end of the football match so they can be reused in the following matches. Regardless of how rich the club was, this was pretty much the routine back then. Today, there is no standard rule across the footballing world that they must return their jerseys after each match. As a matter of fact, there are several different things that could happen, depending on the clubs and situations. Let's take a look at some possible things that could happen to the jerseys after the match. Number 1. Washed and reused. This practice still does exist till today. It is more common among clubs that do not have financial support or endorsement from top sports companies such as Nike, Puma, or Adidas. So who exactly washes the jerseys? Do the players wash on their own? No, the players don't wash their own jerseys. This role is usually assigned to the kit man of the club. A kit man is a part of the backroom staff whose responsibility is to take care of player equipment, including jerseys, socks, shorts, boots, and shin pads. By FIFA regulations, the kit man is required to provide each player with three jerseys, one for each half, and a spare for emergencies. After the match, he collects all the kits and launders them, ready for next week. Players have the option to decide whether they would like to change their jerseys at halftime. It is not compulsory for the players to change them, but most players do prefer a fresh one for the second half. For clubs with solid financial backing, players have more freedom to do whatever they want with their jerseys. So this brings us to point number two which is giving the jersey away to their fans immediately after the match. Excited fans try to seek the attention of their favorite footballers from the stands through creative banners or actions. As a sign of appreciation for their support, footballers in turn gift their jerseys. What may come to surprise is, for every jersey they give away, they will need to pay for it to the club. In a recent interview, Watford goalkeeper Ben Foster said that Cristiano Ronaldo gives away his jersey in almost every games he played, and that he would have paid over £75,000 worth for simply giving away jerseys, which is pretty much nothing for him since he banks over £500,000 per week. The third common practice is exchanging jerseys between players after the match, usually with their opponents. This is known as the spirit of sportsmanship. However, in some cases, especially during special games, players prefer not to exchange their jerseys and instead keep it for themselves as a token of memorabilia on their walls. Clubs with little financial stability such as the lower divisions prohibit their players from exchanging jerseys. For for example clubs in England National Division doesn't allow for exchanging jerseys with opponents after the match. Players will be fined if they disobey the rules. This is though exceptional for for big games such as FA Cup matches where lower division teams gets an opportunity to play against more prominent opponents. Then the club permits their players to swap or keep their jerseys Lastly, the jerseys are either given to charities or sold to third parties. The general consensus for almost all clubs in the top flight divisions is that they only wear their jerseys once because the club gets a ton of requests from charities for their jerseys to be donated. Some players will donate them via the club, while others prefers to auction them and raise funds through it, which later are used to help charities as well.